the champion, the current 3CW champion is in the ring with one of his heroes. One of the guys he looks up to, but funnily enough, Mike, it's Red looking up to Stevie Lynn right now, but there's a handshake. Great respect there. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure Ice is too, too happy with, with that show of respect, but he's going to have to put up with it because Red's a, he's not a disrespectful young man. He's a, he's a very respectful young man. He's been talking to him backstage earlier. And well, I'll tell you what, he, he really wants to get in there with Loki, he told me. He's never been in there with Stevie Lynn before. We're seeing this for the very first time here, courtesy of 3CW Home Video. And we thank you for joining us, joining us wherever you may be. And I'm so excited, I'm falling over my words right here, Mike. We've got Stevie Lynn in the, in the ring with the Amazing Red. I never thought this would happen, at least not this year. With the amazing year we've had here already in 3CW. And there's a nice wrist lock. Both men just getting the feel of each other so far but a nice reversal from Amazing Red and he ticks Stevie Lynn down to the mat. Just a hint of that quickly Stan, Amazing Year we've had you correct, names like Raven, Colt Cabana, names like Alex Shane, look at Doug Williams in, in 3CW. And it's not over yet! And don't forget to check out 3CW.co.uk forward slash catalog for all those great DVDs. Hope you enjoyed the show tonight, I think that Pack and Eden match earlier was amazing. Oh definitely, we're talking about Amazing, we got the Amazing Red in there right now and he's going for a cover! Just a what? Oh, look at this. Not just watching anything else, of course. That great tag got with the dark side of this kid, Richie. Oh, absolutely, but this is the reason why a lot of these fans came here tonight to the Billingham Synthonia. And we've got a, a very slow start here to the main event. Stevie Lynn, not sure what to think of his hero. No doubt he's watched the videos. I don't know if Amazing Red's watched any of the footage of Stevie Lynn before. Well, that might be the, the important element here. You, you're never sure if, if the international, these international stars will be familiar with the, with the local talent. And, and Stevie Lynn, nice and very immensely talented wrestlers. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Nice monkey flip there. And Stevie, God. Stevie turned around, he was happy. And look at this, a show of respect by a man who has, of course, been one third of the SATs. That Spanish announce team, Mike. Absolutely. And yeah. a former X Division champion and a tag champion as well, as you said earlier, Mike. And you might say people want to accuse this guy of not being able to wrestle. But look at this right here, these guys changing holds with Steve Lynn. Steve Lynn's a great to keep wrestling. Oh, definitely. Of course, you said, Mike, uh, the Amazing Red is a one-time NWA tag team champion with Jerry Lynn, of course. Absolutely. And he's a form of uh, Ring of Honor tag team champion as well with AJ Styles. And right now, oh! Oh, it's oh wait, there. Amazing Red had him scouted that time. Oh, and the, the ginger ginger hair of the Amazing Red is... It's part of its, uh, its, its bandana there. Oh, wait, is he, he's going to tag Ice in. He's going to tag Ice in. It's going to be Stevie Lynn and Ice 17. Once again, they've battled all over the country this year. Of course, Ice 17 has defeated Stevie Lynn for the 3CW Championship. He did that back in June in that Iron Man match. But Ice 17 unable to take that title last month. And he was so upset. And wait a minute, Stevie Lynn's looking at Loki. Oh, wait a second. I don't think Ice wants any of Loki, but Ice has got this new aggressive streak, and, and Ice has he's just been taken aback by the Yeah, but you're talking about aggressive. What about those kicks by Loki? He used to be known, Mike, as Quick Kick, and the reason being, well, it just dis it's an apt description of his wrestling style in the ring. And Loki, the reason he doesn't have a job with the so called best promotion in the world is because they're too scared that he kicked the, the damn heads off their, their bodybuilders who are going around calling themselves wrestlers. Loki's a wrestler and he's enjoying great success in Japan right now. Pro wrestling Noah, of course. And of course, he's had great success in the Zero One promotion, I understand as well, Mike. I've absolutely some great matches in there in Zero One, of course. Loki held championships all over the world, including that there in, 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 in the International in the Heavyweight Championship, I believe. That's correct. Now, we've got the stance, we've got the lock up in the centre of the ring. And I'm sure a lot of these fans were interested to see this matchup right here. And I-17, very cautious about being in there with Loki, and he's got every right, and he just ducked out the way that time. I-17 um, watched a lot of Loki, believe me. He didn't lead to this match. Ice never goes to into any match unprepared. He had some great victories this year, and he's not going to lose to Loki through lack of preparation. I'll tell you that much. No, definitely not. It might be because Loki kicks his head off, but it won't be because he won't be seeing it coming. <laughs> if you see what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. I think Ice might be the stronger of the two, however. 
And this, oh, but there you go. You're gonna watch those kicks from Loki. He kicks like nobody else. Big reverse knife edge. Sends down I-17. The four-time 3CW champion. And now wait a minute. He just tagged Red in. And in indeed, Red, Red is his to do a job. Red has been paid good money by I-17. I don't see why Red shouldn't be forced to do some of Oh, it's gonna be uh, Red and Loki, and this is much like their first ever singles match in the TNA promotion three years ago, Mike. It was July 24. It was early in TNA's days. But these two guys, they really made a show for themselves. They stole the show of that TNA oh. view and win. Red knows what to expect from Loki. He's moving out the way of everything. It's the Matrix, you're right. And Loki this time. Oh, what the hell do you call this? Flying head scissors. How do you duck and avoid it? It's like something out of the Matrix. It really is like special effect come to life. And it is bullet the time. Oh. And he was oh, he had him caught that time. Loki saw it coming. He was going for that top here, Mike. And that, that huge kick from Loki just sent Red staggering with the opposite rope. That was amazing. Oh, it literally amazing. An amazing Red who looked good in the early goings when he was in there with Loki, but not anymore. He knows exactly how hard Loki kicks. He kicks your damn head off. And now I-17 ever so cautiously. And in the early goings of this match, well, Loki is dominating. What a great choice by Stevie Lynn. And I'm gonna think Ice is gonna try and take it to the matter. I think that might be what he's trying to do, just wear, wear Loki down because Oh, of course, on the mat, everybody's the same size, there's even no kicks, but what's, oh, wait, what's he doing? What on earth is... Oh! He's, just, he's just so flexible, this guy. He's just headstanding and a kick to try to get but Ice is wearing those kicks and trying to avoid them at all costs and caught by surprise a little there. Now, Ice-17, he's had his fans in the past, but they, they're definitely poor lucky here tonight, Mike. Absolutely, I think I like uh, Ice New Attitude, but I don't think the fans are all too keen. I know, they, I, I mean, he was just so bitter and twisted when he caught oh, the second. tail, he's got that armlock, this is one of his manoeuvres, Mike! This is the, the trapped armbar, he's going to try and... and I, Ice, is, Ice is in the road. The referee's going to try and break it, that's... Ice. Logan lands on his feet! And a great centre of balance, amazing balance by Loki, but you noticed there that Ice was indeed... You know, he, he knew what was happening, he, he only let go of that, that arm, he had it trapped, but he only been in that hole for what, a second and a half. Oh wait, I think Red's getting back in the ring. And now this so slowly he's getting back in the ring and now Stevie Lane tagged in by Loki. If that had technically been an illegal hold, Ice could have had his arm up there. I mean, Ice's time there was everything. And, and you notice amazing Red seems far more comfortable in the ring with Stevie Lynn right now than he does with Loki. I think he's wary, I think he's, he's been rattled with a kick in the head from the outside. I think his head's, have been, his head's been scrambled to be honest with you. And now amazing Red, let's see what he can do, he's only 5 foot 6 inches tall Mike. Oh, he's he, a is, tiny, tiny media. he is the innovator, of course, of the code red. Sends it down there with the shoulder tackle. And of course, the infrared, his version of the cross through sent on, and we might see it later. And look at this nice arm drag that time from Stevie Lynn. Nice counter. And again, both men back on the feet. And I've got to wonder in the near future, will Stevie Lynn grant the amazing red a title shot? Based on his showing here tonight so far, phenomenal, Mike. Absolutely, you notice there. I'm not afraid to say it. Red was half a second in front of Stevie Lynn there. Red was just waiting for Stevie Lynn. And the vaunted speed of the amazing Red is going to be a huge factor in this match. That's right. I, he, well, he, he, he weighs more than he did, I understand, Mike. But that just means that his high risk maneuvers are all the more dangerous. Absolutely. Nice. And Stevie Lynn's trying to slow the amazing Red down, and, and you really can't blame the guy. He's um, got those arms locked. He's got the armbar right now, but back on his feet. And there's a tag by Loki. Amazing Red does not want to be in there with Loki. The martial arts expert. One of the favourites on the independent wrestling scene right now. And like I said, I think this guy, when it's all said and done, is going to be known as a legend in Japan. Oh, shining elbow. Beautiful shining elbow that time. And that shows the influences right there. And just a two count. Matt Wilkinson said it was just two. And what a showing Loki is making here. Trying to upset Red in his UK wrestling debut. History made tonight at 3CW Code Red. And blatant knee to the back right time. But Loki, he's angered. And I've always thought, that's a drop kick to the back. That's, that, that's the worst. Wait a minute, here we go. Just a one count. 
That's what Loki's got to watch for, his temper, Mike. He does lose his temper. We've seen that in the past. Absolutely, but when Loki loses his temper, you do not want to be in the ring with Loki, believe me. But it's going to be a break here. Stevie Lynn showing a lot of respect here to the Amazing Red. And right now, once again, we've got the champion in there with the Amazing Red. And, oh, come on! The forearm there on the apron. And Loki, I think, is going back in the ring. But wait a minute! Stevie Lynn turns the tide. Reverse knife edge in the corner. And right now, the, the fan favourite to this match. Oh, wait, I-17. Jumping in the ring, attacking Stevie Lynn from behind. I see a fan favourite. We've got a lot of red fans here tonight as well, Mike. Absolutely. Uh, red, red just happy to be here tonight, I think. Um, but, Cross, under the play of I-17, he's got a job to do, and that's what he's going to do. And what a back elbow there. Beautiful back elbow to the throat. This might do it. He had the leg hook, but just a, just a two count that time. Stevie Lynn knows he's got to keep Amazing Red grounded. I wonder if Amazing Red knows he's got to keep Stevie Lynn equally grounded on the mat. Over the top this time. And oh, a leg drop. What a leg drop there. Here we go. This might do it. Just, just a two count. And I-17 becoming more and more. Well, he's, he's becoming more and more frustrated on the ring apron there. With his, his partner showing so far, I think he's wait, doing wait, a great job wait. myself, but wait. He just can't for the Joker driver, that could be, we've seen this before, it's one of the evil move this is. Well, Amazing Red's fighting it, Amazing Red's fighting it, and he turns it round into a Hurricanrana! <laughs> nice reversal from the former X Division champion, and now Amazing Red getting back to his feet. Oh, nice speed kick, sends down the champion, oh, down to the mat, and we might be looking at a future 3CW champion. What elevation there from the Amazing Red. I-17 is back in the ring. Stomps to the midsection that time. What a oh, oh, you're playing with fire here, I see. Oh, this, this, this is a mistake. He's, this oh. is much like Loki. We've seen this before from I-17. We see where the influence comes from. It's clearly Loki's style of manoeuvres with those kicks. And right now, I-17 setting him up. We've seen this before. Working on the neck area, and he's going to go for it. There it is. Oh, the neck breaker. He's got him hooked. This might do it, but just a two count that time. You've got to do more than that to defeat Stevie Lynn. We've seen it so many times this year. Stevie Lynn and I-17 in the ring all over the country battling for the 3 CW Championship. And I've got to say, if you've never seen Darkest Teak, so you've got to check out that last man standing match, Mike. Absolutely. The Darkest Draw. And what a good DVD that is with the Tiger in the Tower match as well. And that's that was one of the best matches of these, this year in 3CW. So check that out in 3CW. Oh, definitely. That UK slash catalog. Of course. Oh, look at that. He just got him in the back of the head. He I might be knocked out cold. This is going to do it. Just, just a two count that time. And you mentioned that Tiger in the Tower match from May, Mike. Of course, Stevie Lynn really made a noise for himself in that match. He, he moved up to the next level, defeating I-17 for the title for the first time back in May. And uh, wow! Wait a second, that's I-17 nice original right there. That's a, that's a pendulum suplex. He had the arm tucked. This might do it. It's going to be over for Stevie Lynn and Loki, but no, just a two count. And again, he's you see I-17 complaining to the referee who has had consistent counts so far, Phil, Mike. I, I, I don't know, I, I'd read this referee, you never shoot with Matt Wilkinson, he's a, he's a dodgy guy. Nice reversal into the corner, in comes Stevie Lynn, who is making a big name for himself all over the UK scene, not just here in 3 CW, but oh. he ran out of nowhere, SOS suplex. And he calls that the Matrix suplex, I believe, is, is what I've been told. It's an SOS drop, rather, but if he wants to call it that, that's up to him. And I'm not going to argue with I-17 these days. You really don't want to, with Ice is... Ice has been in a foul mood this building up to this match, having found out that he was going to be wrestling Loki. And he's managed to avoid the, the worst of Loki's offence so far in this match. Big suplex there from Ice 17. Yes, he made the challenge after that all star Iron Man match. That 45 minute match, Mike, that was incredible. And there you go. Amazing Red, not just a two count. I was going to say Red and uh, Ice 17 working quite well as a tag team now Mike yeah they've cut the ring off and they've kept Steve Lynn in the ring which you've got to think is a smart option but that's just going to rile Loki even more which is I, I'm not sure if that's a smart thing to do well, obviously Loki right now is the fresh man and once you get in there somebody's head's coming off and that was a beautiful drop kick that time just got him squarely in the throat there Mike 
a great show of resilience from Stevie Lynn. Stevie Lynn is in there. He, he's, he's hanging with the best of them at the moment. The best thing he has to offer. And he's seen the best national talent that are available to us today. Here we go. I-17 all over Stevie Lynn. The rivals in the ring right now. But everyone in this match is a rival. Oh. Russian leg sweep into the corner. Stevie Lynn hit hard. And look at this boot to the boot of the throw. Come on, referee, get in there. And the only guy that hasn't really been playing by the rules in this match is I-17. But we've seen some of I-17's tactics rub off, rub off rather on amazing red. I do feel. But quite possibly so. I mean, red has been talking to a job, and that's what ice is basically. You know, that's that's what ice is is restricting to do. And we've got a brawl here in the corner. Wait a minute. I-17's got him caught! Go oh. Release Suplex into the corner and Stevie Lynn came down on his head hard that time. He might be not called. Good Lord. Oh, we're going to see it again. Oh. 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 Different angle. Look at that. Th he said he's going to destroy him. Are we going to see that Canadian destroy him, Mike? He oh. said he's going to destroy him. I'm not sure what that means. He's working on the back right now. And Stevie Lynn, he's got him up, but nice escape, and Antiguri just to the back of the shoulder, I think he got him, Mike. Didn't get it all, but he certainly got it, and, and this is the moment Stevie Lynn needs to make a tag. Stevie Lynn's been in trouble, Stevie Lynn's weathered all of the offences that Ice and Ninga throw at him. But he's going to make the tag before Ice pulls out those big guns, and that Mitch Knocker Diver 17, that, that half and half suplex of the Canadian Destroyer. Well, Ice 17's down, he might have got him, just in the back of the head, oh, just to him. But look, he's in the ring, look, he's in the ring. Ice goes for a clothesline, but look, he ducked, he's had him scouted, and here we go again. I said oh. he's dizzy. Look, he's fresh. And that's the dangerous style of Lucky in this time. Oh, oh, big chop to the back. He thought he had him scouted there, but he didn't, did he? And right now, reverse knife edge. Multiple reverse knife edges by Lucky. He's not stopping. Oh, good Lord. The, the chest of I-17 is going to be red raw. He's a reversal from I-17. Oh, oh. he just took his head off that time with that big forearm. And these fans are going absolutely nuts. You can't see on this on this point of view here Mike but we've got them hanging off the balcony quite literally here tonight oh, he's he's going going for the kick. oh I said he had him caught oh, oh, okay. oh what a couple kick Loki all over I-17 there is nobody in the world like I said like Loki you can see it's a cliche but it's damn well true listen to this and oh, he's got him set up. This is not good. It, oh, just kicked in the throat. He just kicked his Adam's apple. I think I-17 just coughed it out. Oh, Again, God. kicked in the chest from Loki. And now he's really... Oh, no, this is... It, oh. Oh. And if there's one person in the universe I, I wouldn't want to be right now, it would be I-17 putting Miz and Red in the ring. He dragged off Loki. That would have been it for sure. That would have been it. Uh, and and I, I, I don't feel sorry for him, he's got that trio of kicks you've seen from Loki so many times and he's got to avoid the big ones, he's got to avoid that key for the crush rush he's got to avoid all those big, big kicks out He's got to avoid uh, everything from Loki He's going to try and get He said he's going to try it again, but that time went I think I-17 just ripped oh, the eyes Oh, the referee was distracted Smart tactics from Ice By Stevie and Lynn Running this to your what a big move That's one of I-17's key manoeuvres one of his key manoeuvres and now and the Amazing Red. Red's in the ring the Amazing Red's in the ring and he's going to go for it DDT oh, no. he got the DDT this will do it it's almost over just a two count and that satellite DDT almost scoring the win for Red and he's got to keep on him now oh Red's all over Loki Red wants oh, to win over Loki but running at the chop full force but Red still well I'm not sure both men obviously in pain but Amazing Red with a kick to the chest that time. He said it. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. He's going to go for the code red. Code red. Oh, he hit it. This is it. It's over. Two. Three. Oh, oh, just count. a two count. Just a two count. But look, he's down. Red sees his opportunity. This might be the moment where Red defeats Loki. He's going up top. He's going for infrared. He just give the signal, Mike. He's going for the, for the infrared. Obviously both men from Brooklyn, New York, but he's going to score the pinfall here in the northeast of England off the top. Wait a minute. He I'm saw Loki. He saw Loki. Loki was getting back up, but this time Loki went for the magic. He caught him in the back of the head with a black magic. How the hell do you call this? 
and, and, and Red rolled through. He saw, he saw that Loki was going to get up. He rolled through. But, oh, look. Oh, good Lord. Look, Stevie Lynch just give the signal for the brain buster. He just called it. This is going to be the end for Amazing Red and his UK debut. But no, over the back. In comes Amazing Red right now. And, oh, dropped him down. And Blue Thunder Powerbomb. Stevie Lynn is the master of the Brain Bus team in 3CW. He can do seven different variations of that Brain Bus. He's just caught one it. of them. That's right, he defeated Isamine for the title with a Brain Buster off the top on the two chairs, Mike. Uh, absolutely, he did. He's gone for that 450 shades of Kid Rich Steven. Here we go. Oh, oh, I missed it. Red saw it coming. You don't want to do high risk maneuvers like that to the amazing Red. He's the master of the moves and he's got him caught. Oh! First, first runner into the mat. This is incredible, it's amazing, and it's going to be over right now! Oh, Just the two count, how the hell do you kick out of that? And how does Steve Lynn have a face left? Good lord! I have no idea we're going to see this again, have they? Face oh. first with the runner, into the mat! And now all hell's breaking loose because we got Loki in the ring, he's all over I-17, I-17 trying to fight back! And you missed oh, wait a second! Craig was going for that infrared, it looked like, or, or something, and, and he had something planned, you're right, he was... He was going to end the match. And I used to just go off the ropes, go for the And Stevie Lynch oh, is in there. Out of nowhere. The face of I-17 is never going to be the same after that one. Look, he used the second rope to his advantage. Oh, oh, he, the, he had him caught. He's got him pinned. It's over. Oh, oh. Just the two count. Oh, wait a second. He just, he just give the signal, Mike. He give the signal. He's got him up for the break. Forget about it. Look, look, he's... Got I-17 caught! Two! Oh, that's the end! Look, he had I-17 caught! And what a huge, huge pinfall victory for the 3CW champion! You just gotta listen to the people! What a huge pinfall victory for the 3CW champion! Well, I tell you what, I-17's had some impressive victories. Being the 3CW champion, he got past Raven, he got past Alex Shane, he's got past Doug Williams, but Stevie Lane has just defeated the Amazing Red in Amazing Red's UK debut. Absolutely, and this means so much to Stevie Lane. What a, what a massive victory for the champion. What a massive confidence boost that has got to be. And he's just defeated one of the men. One of the reasons he's in the business. And it's Amazing Red. But what about Loki? I mean, you know he's got a low key, but he's anything but low key. He's explosive when he gets in the ring, and some of those kicks are amazing. I-17 had a great game plan, and he, he fought so hard, but in the end, the, this, the, this hard hitting offense of Loki was too much. And, it, and there you go. What an amazing team! Low key and the 3CW champion Stevie Lynn. An amazing moment right here in the history, the short history of 3CW, amazing red, um, he's back on his feet, he's holding the back of his head, but I-17's complaining now, he's upset, he thought he had a shoe fire winner in the amazing red to defeat Stevie Lynn. I can't blame the guy, he brought the shitty paint this guy so much weight to do a job and, and he didn't do that job, he got defeated by Stevie Lynn and I, I Red deserves him. Oh, no, he doesn't, it, it wasn't his fault, he was on the top, he was going to end the match. Whatever amazing red had in mind, he was going to take out the 3CW champion but it was I-17 who knocked him off the top. Oh, it was I-17's fault oh, right now. Oh, he knows who it is now, the hairline. Oh, oh wait a minute, fuck him, it's Loki. And Stevie Lynn with a forearm and Loki and Stevie Lynn the 3CW champion all over I-17 and now wait a second what's this listen to the fans for Red and oh, God. oh the, the, the Red Star Press Red Star okay. Press yes you can forget about it I-17 you want to show this guy disrespect he's a seven year pro he's 23 years old he's the amazing red and this is being called red what an event and i 17 he can't believe it he was unable to defeat stevie lynn he was unable to take out Loki, and it serves him right
Trying to doing? blame Amazing Red for the loss. It was I 17s. I, I it was gameplay. his fault, Mike. I said a great game. He didn't have any luck at all. He knocked Red off the top. Red was going to finish the match. He had the match won. He was going to defeat the three CW heavyweight champion. And I sincerely hope that this isn't the last time we see Loki and the Amazing Red in three CW. It's been an amazing night of action. My voice is 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 completely dead now. But we've got these fans and they're still on their feet. They're still going nuts for the three CW champion, Stevie Lynn, Loki, and the amazing Red. And look at the respect shown here. Incredible wrestlers, incredible athletes. And, 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 and Loki, you know, appreciating the, the responses of the crowd, but I can't feel the ice, the ice has been jipped here. What a fight they had, Mike. Forget the size of the fire. Loki means business. And so does the 3CW champion, Stevie Lynn.